Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the bakery. I'm your host, Barry Pies, and tonight I took a break off of um, Namco Cross Capcom. I needed a breather. Uh, I know we're literally a couple chapters from beating the game, but I really just, I needed a break. So tonight, on. Oh shit. Um, hold on. Hold on. I have a feeling that I might have screwed up the input on one of my controllers because it's not re-registering the accept button. And it's exactly why. Okay, right, hold on. All right, let's try that again. Oops. Okay, perfect. Sorry, guys. Just trying to get my uh, evolution worlds up and running. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so we are back. I'm gonna. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm having a minor panic attack. We're trying not to because it looks like I don't. Yeah, I saved it, and I'm really worried that I didn't save it. Okay. Oh, thank God, I was not doing three hours of all that all over again. If it had not saved, I would have just been like, you know what? I am quite clearly not meant to ever finish this title. And Barry is just throwing at the title. Auntie doesn't usually dress up very much, but now that you and your friends are here, it's a special occasion. Usually she doesn't care at all about such things, but when you're here, she even puts on makeup. However old you get, it's still nice to look like a lady once in a while. Any old day, ships would start coming into our port for days when a storm came. Rabble, rabble, rabble. We used to have to walk uphill both ways to get that bread. Rabble, 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 rabble. Yeah, give them whatever, Granny. Okay. Do you hear about your old days, Grandma? Okay, so triggers spin the cam the camera. Oh, Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay. I still had to get my coffee. I hadn't had a chance to change and everything. I just got home and went live because I wanted to have this up and going. And then... I guess I could have waited. <laughs> Alright, so... Jinxie! Hi, baby! What's up? <gasps> oh! My god, it's her! Oh my god, she's my favorite character. She's my, okay, she's my second favorite character in this game. I am so excited. I forgot she was coming so soon. <laughs> her, her, um, part is a gun that's like mounted on her hip. Her side frame, that's what it's called. How are you, Jinxie? Mag Launcher, really? Adventurer the minute I walk into town. I'm so lucky, that's why I'm positively addicted to the wandering life. You never know who you're gonna meet. Look at me, I'm skankly clan. 
Um, well, um, the last, like, three days, I've been hyper-focused on Namco Cross Capcom. That's the, uh, basically Project X Zone Zero. One and two were on the 3DS. Um, and this one was on the PS2, and we never got it in America. Which sucks, because there's actually some characters that make cameos in Project X Zone 1 and 2. Uh, but anyway, uh, we've been playing that game for, like, almost two years now. And I'm finally on the final, like, six chapters. It's been a long ride. It is a long fucking game. Uh, Xenoblade 1. No, Xenoblade 2, yes, you're right, I'm sorry. Xenoblade 2 and Xenosaga 1 are the other games we're playing. Yes, as well as Final Fantasy 7 2. And there's one more, Yakuza 0. I am still on the Power, Power World hype, yes. Um, in fact, that's what I'm playing tomorrow night. Um, I created a pow a challenge for the Power World, and I've been playing the challenge to see if it works, and it does. So I'm kind of contemplating, like, posting it in the Power World Reddit. Ew, uh... Fucking bot trash. Seriously, that was super rude, and I don't know how to get rid of them. It won't let me for some re Oh, because I'm not signed in on my OBS to chat. Xeno Saga and Xeno Blade. Xeno Blade 2 is a lot of fun. The map is a little frustrating. Because it's so big that, like, it can be super hard to figure out where it's trying to lead you. Oh, that's right, her name is Pepper! I absolutely agree. I hear Xenoblade 3 was, like, the best. Hey, what's up, UK hubby? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Why don't you come around and see me sometime? I don't even go on one of your adventures. It was nice meeting you, little lover boy. Okay, girl. Bye. Ooh, she was trying to put her hands on me. She wanna get gross. <laughs> well, I've only been live for like 25 minutes, so it's okay. Oh, damn it, they blocked off one of the... Oh, yeah, you will. You gotta get him over here and come and sing me so tart. Yeah, I'm conflicted about Xenoblade 2 because I heard good stuff about it and very bad stuff as well. It seems like it's a polarizing game, so... Um... I don't know what the bad things you've heard about it, but the only bad thing for me... is the gotcha system that they use to re... to, like, 
inherit the blades, which are the little being that you fight with. It uses a stupid gotcha system. In a video game, like why? Wait a minute, did I get a... I know what a rough guy you are, Mag. Oh yeah, I am so rough. Yes, go get some sleep right now, hubby. Right now, I demand it. <laughs> Have a great night, and I hope your op goes back. I hope your op goes well tomorrow. Wait, can I not leave and explore right now? You'll be fine. You'll do great. And then you can get home and you can tell, talk to me and everyone all about it. Hey, it's Linear. I was waiting for you. I didn't know you were doing tonsils, too. I just thought it was your elbow. Wait, when did the tonsil thing happen? When's that happening? What? Bitch, you ain't even told me everything. I tried to go accept our mission, but you wouldn't let me. You take it to a better place. Ah, uh, oh, you gonna chase the sky away? Stream a lot then. So, um, the gotcha system, yes. Questionable ethics. I haven't gotten to any real moments like that yet, so I can't say anything. The cutscenes that we've had have been fun. Like an epic fight scene, uh, when Pyra wakes up, the little blade that you have on your team. Some sh it's... The cutscenes, I would definitely say that's crap. That I wouldn't I wouldn't listen to that. But the questionable Oh, aesthetics! Like the way they look, I see, I see, I see. 
Um, I only have three characters right now, so I can't say anything. The three characters I do have are pretty cool. Um, the generic blades can be kind of boring looking because they're basically like monochromatic, black, silver, and gray with a splash of color sometimes somewhere. But for the most part, they're pretty boring, so it's really useful to just get the special blades. Um, uh, so which is the gotcha system, so that part does suck. Aesthetics? Uh, I don't really think so. Cutscenes? Uh, map navigation? Absolutely. It does have moments where you it could explain the game mechanics a lot better for you. Agreed. Hi, right, honey. Good night. I love you too. Sleep tight, and I hope your pre-op goes well. Let's do the Heaven Ruins. That dead is massive. She was in here. Let's go recruit the new girl. Ah, uh, yeah. It's definitely one of those games. Don't listen to the re- Oh! You know what? I do have one complaint. During combat, it zooms in on your back. So, like, when you're- Blade is behind you doing like the cool trigger moves. You don't get to see them because they're completely off camera. You see the moves that you do, but the moves that your character does behind you, your blade thingy, half the time you don't get to see them do the cool combos because they're off camera because for some reason it zooms in on your back. I don't understand, but it's really frustrating. First game was amazing. So many twists and turns I about broke my damn neck. All right, let's go. Hero Pawn Ricky is like the best character, seriously, ever. And he's so OP. Like, what the fuck was up with that? He was like the strongest creep like character on your team. It was nuts. His HP was like 8,000 something by the time I was done. It was not, it was like fucking crazy. I was like, you my little tank. Who's my little tank? Hold on. I just remembered I got shit to sell before we go gallivanting on a seaplane to some ruins, okay? Let's go sell some stuff real quick. Make some room in my inventory. Yeah, his stats grow so fast, and his defense is, like, disgusting. I just... He was so much stronger than I was, like, expecting him to be.
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's doubt. Yeah, Ricky. Yep. <laughs> I loved him. He was such a great character. I did not like the expansion pack for D for uh, Xenoblade One though. I streamed it as a full day stream, so like eight hours. Like we sat down and played the DLC from start to end. It was not good. I was severely disappointed. Okay, give me one second, peoples. Barry needs some more coffee. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, you have attacks. Ooh! Can you learn some... Yes! She can learn some new moves! Oh, just recovery? Well, we need to learn that, but not yet. So for right now, just smack him with your frying pan. Yeah, like that. Damn, girl. Punch! Kick! It's all in the mind. If you want to test me, how do you find... Sure to teach you, I'm sure to beat you, but nevertheless, you get a lesson from teacher now. Kick and punch. Now kick, punch, kick, block, pitch, block, kick, punch, kick, block, punch. Blah blah blah. Fucking that game. I don't know why that game has randomly been stuck in my head for the last couple of days, but it has been. Parappa the Rappa from PlayStation. And then they made another one set in the same universe, but it was a kitty cat, and she played the guitar. Oh, Ricky? Yeah. Ricky's special. <laughs> Might get sticky, icky, icky. Oh. In um in the DLC you get to play as Ricky as Ricky's um son and daughter. They're just as hyper as he is. Charla, I love Charla. Level 13! Fuck yeah! Da -da 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 -da. Charla? That's the knife girl, right? She's really strong once you get her back in her mech form, though. Her spirit. Depending on, like, what armor you put her in. But I felt Melia was way overpowered if you used her elements right. Oh, um. Oh, was Charla's the gun, right? Yeah, she was useless. She is only good as a healing unit. 
until you get everybody else on your team, and then she becomes literally the most useless character in the entire fucking game. And it sucks because I liked her. Right. Well, Melia's good at healing, too. If you stack her water, her water elements, she can, like, snatch HP and distribute it to everybody. Charla's also problem, other problem is, no matter how good of a weapon you give her, I feel like she never does. I felt like Melia did more damage with her magical ruins, runes than Charla ever did with any of her guns. Trying to build up my TP so they can learn some new moves. Let's go ahead and learn this one. This will be helpful. I'm sure this boss is probably going to have ice moves. Jinxie, I know you were watching me at one point in time. Um, once I knock out one of these... Yeah, that is literally her problem. The only time she's good at synergy or doing synergy is when you have three ruins out and you can actually do like a real magical like attack. But outside of that, she, yeah, but her, oh, she is so overpowered. And I keep trying to tell people that. I'm like, you don't understand. I was like, if you combine her elements together alone, they all cause different effects. Poison, slow, so on and so forth. Like, she is insanely overpowered. I usually used her as my topple character because she's got that starlight kick that once she releases an elemental attack, her kick can knock over an enemy the next time she uses it. So I used to like control her, set up her three elements and then do the synergy and have everybody else have Shulk go first and get them like in the dazed have her s launch her element. I'm sorry, no, no, no. I would start the battle off with her launching her element, then trigger the synergy, and have her starlight kick the enemy over after Shulk made her unsteady, or so on and so forth. I had a way to, it worked, but it was, it was, it was, it did take effort. Because at that point, it's all about timing. But she was one of my favorite characters, so I literally, in the end, just didn't care. Oh, so as I was trying to say earlier, um, Jinxie, I'm gonna be getting back into, um... Code Rain here soon. My partner doesn't want to watch it anymore, so I took it off Fridays and Saturdays, and I'm going to make it a morning game. 
Yeah, I haven't given up on it. We just, we took a break from it because it's no longer a Saturday or Sunday game. Because my partner fell asleep during it the last two times we played. So he is like so far behind on the story that he was just like, just play it without me. He was like, I like it. He's like, but I just, it's not engaging enough for me after a long day to watch. He was like, it's just, it's, it's not fast paced enough for me after working all night. And I'm like, no, I totally get it. Like, it's a visual novel. There's a lot of talking. So, yeah, I'm not done with it yet. We're going to get back into it and play it. I promise. I'm just trying to knock out a couple of more games on my list. But yeah, I love that game. It's, well, and what I like about it more than Dagnan Ronpa is that you actually get to walk around in 3D and explore the crime scene. Not just point and click. You know what I mean? Not that I don't like Dagnan Ronpa. I just like that this one actually has movement in it. My problem with Dagnan Ronpa is the accusation system. It is, it happens so fast that half the time I'm trying to read what they are so I can pair them up properly. And it just doesn't work because it goes so quick and then I'm like freaking out. And then my autism is like, I don't like this. But I really want to play them. Somebody was like, Barry, just watch the anime. And I was like, but I don't want to watch the anime. The anime only covers the first game and second game. I was like, I want to like, I want to experience all three Dagnan Ronpas. Okay. Yeah, I heard the anime was pretty good. Second Dagnan Ronpa. I know the third one is the third one like the beach party or like school vacation or something like that. And people are dying on like their uh, field trip. Is that a wild gun sage? OMG. Talk about a fucking stranger. I didn't even know if you remember I existed anymore. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. How are you? How have you been? Oh, that's okay. I'm going to be switching to days anyway, because a lot of my viewers have fallen off, except for, like, my same five, and I'm assuming it's because I've only been streaming at night. So I am going to be getting back into day streams here soon, so I am pretty excited. But yeah, I've gathered from a handful of people. They're like, you're just on so late, and I'm like, I know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that 
That's right. You did used to work from home. That's the second one, Jinxie. Oh, okay. What's the third one? I forgot you used to work from home, Gun. Ow, you bastard. Let's go, Linear! Heal everybody! Yeah, fix my boo-boo! He fix my boo-boo. Oh, okay. Now, my question... The... Silver-haired character from 2? Looks exactly like the character from 3. Is it the same kid? Does he keep getting caught up in all this mess? What do you do for work again, Gun Sage? I don't remember. I'm jealous that you got to work from home. Okay, okay. That's really cool. Was it like stuff you knew or was it like you had a book and like they'd call and you'd be like, oh, this is how to fix it. Yeah, call centers are trash. I couldn't, I worked at a call center once and that was enough experience for me. I do not care for the way that the higher-ups treat you. And call centers. And then they want to be like, pizza pro pizza today to say thank you. Bitch, do you know how I get talked to on this phone 90% of the time and you think pizza's gonna save that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Let's pretend that that's a thing. Yeah, I couldn't... I already work at GameStop every once in a while right now. Not as often as I used to. It's like a once-a-day, once-a-week job, I mean. And having to explain shit to people sometimes, I want to, like, rip my fucking hair out. Yeah, for me, it's the people. I don't know what, pe what happened to civilization after COVID, but people are meaner and nastier to, like, retail employees, fucking, like, anybody. Yeah, it's just, it's gotten so bad. Fast food, waiters, like, I don't know what has happened, but all these people have been stepping up and treating us like they fucking. I know, I just, I feel like it's gotten even worse. Yeah, what are some stuff that you had to explain that you think are very intuitive? I'm curious. Shock! Punch! Okay, well that was a little absurdly powerful. And I loved it.
Let's play the fearful tone. Uh... I'm troubleshooting a non functioning sprinkler. I like it. That's cute. Very uh, 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 uh. high, <laughs> shall. Wait, rain? Is that what? Wait, I got a raid? Why didn't I get a notification? Oh, thank you for the raid! I appreciate it! I don't know why you want to raid me. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I guess I'll go eat worms. How is everybody tonight? Welcome and uh, What will we play in tonight? What will we play in? What will we play in? Yeah, I d that it's they were working a couple of weeks ago, but you're the first person to raid me in like weeks, so Yeah. I'm not bullying Gun Sage. I like Gun Sage. Nicer than you. <laughs> Anytime, buddy, you need to stop bullying my friend like that. You were playing Sons of the Forest. I, I've heard good things of those games. I haven't played them myself. Oh, hi, Teddy. Welcome in. Feel free to follow if you like to. Um, I don't know, Teddy. I just had, I had like five, 538 people a week ago and I'm down to 531. So I don't really know. <laughs> um, but welcome. I'm not sure what kind of games you're into, but I mean, I play retro indie and horror for the most part. It's a lot of retro. Barry loves retro games, as you can see. Makes sense. Gotta make sure you don't skip any possible step, however easy as it seems to you. Yeah! No, I think that was a good way to describe it, um, Gun. When you mentioned the, uh, the way you talked about going through the sprinkler. That's actually a really easy and calming way to go through with somebody. I like that. Oh, it's Techie, not Teddy. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I need glasses. So I took a quick glance and it looked like Teddy... Teddy Teji, and I just realized it's Techie. <laughs> Embarrassing! 532, thank you for the follow. See, I didn't even get my follow notification. What is, I wonder if my stickers aren't on. Hold on, let me check my stickers. That might, yeah, hold on. My stickers are not online right now. Hold on, okay. Neither were my sound alerts. Why does it say my sound alert browser is off? Son of a bitch! Okay, that's how I troubleshoot maintenance issues too, is my first or even working with furnaces at all. I'm the only maintenance person on staff, so it's weird. Oh, Jesus! Well, you bat down that hatch, man! At least you know your position's important. I'm really sorry, buddy, but I got a raid in run. But please make sure to take care. Know that we all love you and you matter way more than you go. Oh, I love you too, buddy. 
You're on OBS. Research the cap. I have all my consoles back until the Sega Master System. I love retro games. I play mainly horror games. That's awesome, Techie. Yeah, I will. Like, I totally love retro games. Uh, we're currently playing through Grandia HD. Uh, we're almost done with that. We're on the, literally the last string of bosses. Um, I've been playing Namco Cross Capcom, which is basically Project X Zone for the 3DS uh, Zero. So it's like the prequel to the pre the Project X Zone games. We didn't get it in America, but somebody translated it for the PS2. So we've been playing that. We've been getting our retro on. We've been getting our retro on. And I'm going to be playing more retro games once I clear out my backlog. Because we have a lot of games we're in the middle of trying to finish. And Barry needs to button down the hatch to finish some of these games. Yeah, that's a lot of consoles to own. My goodness. I... Whenever I do the reset on here, it doesn't work. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Refresh cache of curtain page. Refresh cache of current page. Refresh. I'll refresh it like two more times. Shut the fuck up, you fuck up! What the fuck? What? Oh, but you know what? No, I've... Okay, so I don't know why it worked this time, um, killer, but I can promise you, anytime I try to refresh one of the links in my OBS, it literally never works. I have to go in, recopy it, and drag it back in. So I don't know why it worked tonight. But I'm really glad it did, because it just saved me, like, raging out hard. Okay, I just need to... Um, the only one I don't have on here is my OBS stickers. Hold on. Yeah, UK hubby tech support. Mm-hmm, he sure does. And Barry gives him all the things. Okay. I borrowed a friend's PS4. Oh, Bloodborne. Great game. Great game. It's actually one of the few Dark Souls games that I almost managed to beat completely on my own. Alright, killer. Have a great night, sweetheart. It's good to see you, as you know, as always. I will talk to you later, sweetheart. Mwah. But, um, I also, techie, um, take requests. Like, not always necessary, like to finish like to play like and to finish but like if one night you're like oh my god barry can we play like clockwork night and for that night i would happily pop it on and we could play for like the full the full stream just for a good time you know there's a lot of old retro games that are fun to just play pop on and play for a uh, short amount of time So if you're definitely itching for something sometime, please feel free to request it. I love doing requests. That's how we, um, that's actually how I get most of my horror game gameplay in. I love you too, is, um, I, um, from requests. Because a lot of you guys, like, I follow horror games really, like, closely on, um, 
Steam. But unfortunately, there's so many indie horror games out there, you know what I mean? And sometimes they just slip on by me and someone's like, Hey, Mary, play this. And then I'll be like, oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. <laughs> um, I don't know what you play for multiplayer games. I'm looking for some people to play Outlast Trials with. If you, uh, if you've ever played that. Oh my god, I'm so stuffy. I like when you go into, like, the store, my teammates all, like, separate and, like, walk around on their own. So it makes it look like they're doing stuff. Okay, appraise this item. He just, like, robbed me of all my money. Did you just see that? What the F? I just got ripped off. I almost said gypped. I'm sorry. That's not. We don't use that word. And I'm trying to take it out of my vocab. Ooh. I need to play the, the new Resident Evil remakes. Um, there's a company that Capcom is surprisingly backing. I don't think they're funding it at all, but they're letting this indie company do a full remake of Resident Evil 1 and 0, apparently. And they're just like, yeah, go ahead, do it. I'm just like, oh, why can't Nintendo be like you, Capcom? Why does they have to care and let everything get ruined? I play Dead by Daylight. I am always looking for Dead by Daylight players. I don't have really anyone who plays with me anymore, so that can I, that can always happen. I tend to do multiplayer games on Saturdays and Mondays. And if it's not on one of those days, by request. Oh, seriously. Like, Cap... Okay. So here is, like, my thing on that. Like, if Cap... If Nintendo really cared, they should stop making all of their games literally impossible to get. Make your old games available to us. And their excuse with Nintendo Online, yeah, okay, you've got, like, 20 Nintendo games on there, and none of them are the ones that I want to play. Okay, well, I mean, a couple of them, but the, the, what I'm trying to say is, they always put on all these games on the Nintendo, but that's never, like, really any of the good ones until recently, and I don't want to spend 60-whatever a month on their, on their bonus to play these games that I've already played. I shouldn't have to spend an arm and a leg to replay old games. Oh, uh, so Zero is actually one of my favorite Resident Evil games, but I 100% agree with you. The controls suck toadstools in that game. Rebecca does not no. They were still using the old, like, Resident Evil 1. Like, controls. Um, yeah, I know Nintendo is, like, really going after all of them right now. 
Oh, I take a break sporadically, Techie, because I find that game to be incredibly toxic. 90% of my experience. Then the other 10%, I get a fun killer, or a killer who actually plays the game. Not a camping, toxic, tunneling, stream sniping piece of shit, which is what I oftentimes get stuck with, unfortunately. Yeah, I know Nintendo just sued Yuzu, the Switch emulator. Um, and now they're trying to go after all of the other, like, Super Nintendo emulators and stuff. So my ass is literally, this week, ordering an external hard drive, and I am flooding it with ROMs and emulators before they get their hands on any of them. Because I will be goddamned if I am not going to get the chance to play any of that. Ah, oh, see? Techie, you understand my pain! And the developers, yo! The developers don't give a fuck about us survivor mains. Because killer mains and streamers are what bring the foot traffic. Oh, it's so fucking horrible. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. That sucks, because I have Citra, and I'm not uninstalling it. But I'm about to go through and download a shit ton of 3DS ROMs, I'll tell you fucking what. Doesn't Nintendo understand the more they do this, the more people want to emulate? Like, that is literally all you're doing, is you're just making us want to do it more and more and more. I've been loving Citra. I think it runs. I've been playing the Yokai Watch. Ah! <laughs> I used to main Meg, but now I main um, Rachel. No, Rebecca. I'm sorry. Um, Rebecca. Vittori. And one more. I can't remember. Sorry guys, it's my partner, hold on. All right, I'm back, sorry guys. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, oh yeah, the new survivor that comes out with the new killer, the one who's got like the snappy neck and it's super creepy. Yeah, see, Nintendo? Nah. They, like, claim to be the, like, the most buyer, user-friendly company, and they're, like, not. Do you guys remember in, like, 2010 to, like, 2016, 17, 
they were like going after streamers for simply playing their games even if they were playing it on the console not an emulator right from the console they were still getting hit with cease and desists from nintendo that was i still buy nintendo stuff i will tell you because i'm sorry i have so much childhood and love wrapped up in nintendo but they have dropped mad on my respect meter. Mad on my respect meter. They have they have gone from being like a fan like a friendly like gamers we love you. What do you want? Tell us to like money 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 money. Well, so from what I understand, they took a lesson out of this book from this game or console, and I guess from the devs who have received kits for the next Switch system, apparently from what they've said, the leak is that they're not only double screened, apparently, um, but the, the console, the new console, is going to be graphically as strong as a PS5. So... We'll see. I'm kind of excited. If that's true. Because Nintendo has always been fun. Not... About power. Which has been fine with me. But now they're starting to see that all oh, these other games that they want to put on their system is not holding up anymore. Poison! He's <laughs> poisoned them. Yeah. Agreed. The Breath of the Wild would have been great on, like, a stunning console. That's okay. Nintendo's learning. They're getting there. They're getting there. They just gotta stop being greedy. Just gotta stop being greedy. Try to bite her in the snatch. Did you see that? He was like a snatch snack. So rude. Uh, I hit you with my frying pan. And then I punch you in the face.
Okay. I'm just, well, that's what I, from what I understand, the devs who have kits for the new Switch that apparently it's comparable to the PS5. But that's still going to even be behind to some degree because they're already working on the PS6. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's so many monsters. Ra 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 ra. I wish Sega's Dreamcast hadn't ended their development. Because I loved Sega, and the Dreamcast could have been a great system if they hadn't put it out too soon. And if they hadn't put such an insane price tag on it. The Switch, it continues to outsell. Like, people like the Switch. It's because it's a system they can take on the go and also play in the comfort of their home on their TV, you know? No one else has ever done that. Just climbing the floors, just climbing up floors, just climbing those floors. So many fucking floors. Ah! <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. It was like, surprise! Because I've got you hanging by a string. Buy a stream. Yes, that is indeed true, Jinxie. It is indeed true. And that's a good thing for them because the Wii U was a disappointment. I liked the Wii U. There were some games on it that I loved, but I get it. I get it. It wasn't for everybody. Yeah, but the Wii U had some good games on it. Um, despite it being an embarrassment. It had Tokyo Mirage, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, um, Super Mario Bros. U, which was amazing, Zombie U, which after some patching, 
and uh, re-release of it with melee weapons. That got better. Um, there were some good games on it. Yeah, which I think is dumb. If we're gonna port these other games to the Switch, you need to port Xenoblade. And I know damn well that it has a lot of demands for it, so... They can't be like, no, we don't have a demand for it. Bullshit, you don't. We don't even care about the multiplayer part. Take it out. Just give us the damn game. Single player story mode. I don't give a fuck. Seriously. I actually need to um, replay and finish Twilight Princess because I've never finished that one. And I really liked that one. gonna heal Pepper. Thermo search. Ah, <laughs> hi baby boy. Yeah. Yeah. Twilight Princess. I need to finish that. X was fun. X was fun. X felt like it went back to being what the original Xenos were, which were you piloting a cool mech. And, uh, I need more of that experience. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, no, um, we were just talking about the Zelda games and, uh, how Nintendo, instead of just porting games that we want, they just keep remastering Zelda games over and over again. Because people are dumb and keep buying them. <laughs> I love Zelda, but I don't need you to remaster the same game like four different times. And like they did Last of Us. How many remasters of the first fucking game did then Somiac need to do? I mean, Naughty Dog. Like, let's be real. Why? Why was that necessary? Why do I need like eight different remakes of the first fucking Last of Us? There's nothing wrong with Last of Us. Go fuck yourself. At least it has an understanding storyline. Zelda's supposed to be a continuity, and it's so fucking convoluted. Nobody can tell you the exact order that the games are supposed to be played in. Not even the creators themselves can tell you the exact order. If you get the Hyrule Compendium, it's like, tries to explain to you the order that the games are played in. I like Zelda! I'm not saying they're bad, I'm just saying they're definitely... ...overhyped. I didn't like Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild. Um, I never finished... ...BOTW. BOTW and Tears just did not feel like Zelda games to me. At all. And I'm not complaining about the open world, that's fine. But you took away dungeons and like all the things that I love about Zelda and replaced them with these stupid fucking shrines. 
that make me want to rip my fucking hair out. I'm fine with if they do open world again. That's cool. Do open world. But like... Can we get my dungeons back? If we're gonna do open world, there's no excuse that you can't have dungeons. Yeah, and when, when some people were agreeing with that, he came out, the creator was like, well, I think it's dumb that you want to go back to the, like, the way things were. And fans were like, we're not saying change is bad, but... Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are essentially, like, they're not even Zelda games. Like, you completely changed the formula. You didn't subtly do it here and there. No, 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 no. You put out a whole entire game that was vastly different from any other Zelda game you've ever done. It wasn't a subtle change. It was a complete... <laughs> Yeah, I heard in Tears of Kingdom they did add dungeons, but, like, even then it's, like, meh. A lot of people are gonna hate on me when they see this video for me pooping on Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and if you like those, great! I'm happy for you. What I'm saying is that I need my dungeons back, okay? Like, where's my water temple? Where's my fire? Where's my fucking, like, you know what I mean? Ocarina of Time. Every Zelda game until now has been dungeons. And that is what I love about that. I love dungeon diving. Fuck it off with this fucking no more dungeons crap. And then the only dungeons in the in Breath of the Wild were the four great beasts. That was it. Those were your dungeons. I finally literally just made it into the first my first I okay. I have had Breath of the Wild since it came out. And last year I finally got to my first great beast. The giant water elephant. Oh, they're not even really dungeons? Because somebody said they kind of were. I think I've been bamboozled. Yeah, I feel thumb boozled. Yeah, I haven't even completed it once and I've had it since it came out. That is how bored I got. Every other Zelda game I've ever played, I like essentially blow through it. This, these last two, not so much. That sounds horrible. My dungeon is better than- Oh, 
I'm on the next plane, I'll be there in 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody was like, somebody told me, they were like, in Breath of the Wild, they were like, just get, just get the Master Sword. Ten hours, baby. Um, I was told someone was like, just get the bunch of hearts, go get the master sword, and like get out of the um, level or whatever, or uh, go get Ganon, whatever it was. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, they didn't tell me about a glitch. They told me to just, because I have enough hearts. I'm pretty sure to go get it. I do know that there's a way up over the wall if you do it a certain way. That you can like get up over the barrier. And then just go for Ganon. It's just, um, yeah, you don't have to do the shrines, right? Icky, sticky, might be icky, 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 icky. Princess Zelda deserves her own game. We have clearly come to the realization that she knows how to fight. So, like, the fact that she hasn't at least been a switchable character in any of the games at this point in time is also very disappointing. A lot of XP. Nicky, icky, sticky, make it gay.
Scarlet and Violet was horribly disappointing. I'm back! I'm back. It's just disconnecting from the Wi-Fi like it likes to do all the time. <laughs> it's chilly tonight, but it's not as cold. But then, of course, I could be lying, because I'm sitting in front of a space heater, so I'm not actually sure. Maybe someone should come and keep Barry nice and warm. The view window wide. <laughs> Is it hot there? Hey, Drago! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm sorry you're not having a good day. My day's okay. My day's okay. I run hot. Ooh, uh, stop. <laughs> so ridiculous. I don't even know what to do with you half the fucking time. Wait, can she? Oh god, it is horrible. Do not equip that lady. Night's going better, Drago. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, that's never any fun. I'm sorry, Drago. That's rough. Worth it, buddy. Yeah, I have way too much stuff. Okay, sell this. Too much of the same crap. All right, hold on. All right, there we go. Yep, 
Yes, let's go! Oh, yeah, being far away from family is not fun. But at least you get to talk to them. That's good. All right, back on out we go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. on floor seven. It made me go back to floor five. That's fucked. The teleporter was on floor seven. What kind of shit is that? Really? I don't like that. That really bothers me. I was up two floors. It's because people, people are stupid. People are stupid. It's really all it is. They're stupid and uneducated. See what I did there? Uneducated, acting like I was uneducated. <laughs> Punch him right in the face. Punch the tick right in the face. I'm supposed to be wrapping this up here soon, and I don't want to. I don't mind if the world's on fire. And it could spin faster, I don't care if you Faster, 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 healed into a better day. I'm so excited to see you excited. Is a Dreamcast game, uh, Drago. Um, it was re-released on the GameCube back in the day. Um, they made two of these games, Evolution Worlds and Evolution World 2. However, Evolution World 1 is the only one that got re-released on the GameCube. Um, so if you want to play both of them, you have to play them on a Dreamcast or a Dreamcast emulator, like I am. Um, and then another Dreamcast game that to this day fans still want to remaster and sequel to called Skies of Arcadia, where basically you're fucking Sky Pirates trying to save the world. It's pretty cool. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, in fact, the the main characters are all available in um, Valkyrie Chronicles, the real-time strategy RPG created by Capcom. In the first game, um, all the first, I think it's just three, three of the main characters are available as units in um, Valkyrie Chronicles as a little, uh, nod. Because it's the same developers.
Oh my god, come on! These bugs should not be this strong! Oh damn! You spun that one right around, holy fuck! You spun me right round, baby, right round, like a roller coaster, right round, 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 round. Yeah, it's because it was so ahead of its time, and at the time it was also, it had a really big price tag on it, which other consoles didn't really have at the time. It was just too soon. It was just too soon. People weren't ready for discs. And it also didn't help that they made their games, um, their console, they didn't help that they made their console able to read burned discs. So you, if a friend knew how to put a game on the computer and burn it, you could basically get Dreamcast games for free. It was like a really big problem. There was even a couple of RPGs on it that we never even got in America that I would have loved to have. Yes. And the other problem was all of the games were the most expensive that a game had ever been before. Because they were on a disc. So the console was just too early. That's all. But to this day, people still wish that Sega could make consoles again. Because they had a idea for the Dreamcast 2. And then they, of course, just never made it, because it didn't do well, the first one. But Sega easily could have made Capcom their, like, exclusive console, gaming, whatever, company. So Resident Evil could have become Sega exclusives, you know? What are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was some development problems with 4, wasn't there? Wait, which game became its own because of... I think I missed that part.
Mash him with that hammer! Frack! Really? Because I just, I don't understand how they go from Resident Evil 1 and then Resident Evil 2, they were planning something like Devil May Cry that just literally doesn't make any sense. That's such a dr That's just dumb. Why would they try, like, Resident Evil 1 was a shooter zombie. Why would you go from that to Devil May Cry? That is such a jump in genres that it's not even funny. Oh, Resident Evil 4 was supposed to be. Still, after playing 1 and 3, 1 through 3, 0, 1, 2, and 3, why would you all of a sudden decide in 4, oh, let's make it an action with swords and stuff? Like, what? What? Nah, man, that's some fucked up shit. That literally doesn't make any sense at all. That is so dumb. They wanted to be... So, when you say it like that... It makes me want... It makes me think of, um... <sighs> Resonance of Fate. Like, they almost were trying to make a Resonance of Fate kind of game. I never finished four. I've only ever beaten one, uh, zero, one, two. Five. And that's it. I didn't know he was weak to lightning. That's kind of cool. Oh, 
Oh, so fire does some pretty heavy damage to these motherfuckers. I found skid loafers. <laughs> that still wasn't enough to heal her? Jesus. Nice! Defense boost, I'll fucking take it. Oh, there's too many of you. Get out of my way, please. Oh my god, seriously. Her HP... Oh, it's because it's in the... Not... It's 864, that's why. Okay. Okay. Yes, give her the sanity visor. Boost that poor Pepper's defense. Her defense is trash. I mean, she's a shooter, so her defense isn't really supposed to be that good. There we go. I wonder if putting her in the back will make her guns do more damage. Oh, the nerve gas bullet is a weapon! I did not realize that. I was trying to equip it earlier and it wasn't working and I was frustrated. Fuck it. Yeah, you! Yeah. Get over here. I'm gonna kick his ass so I can get that item. Pepper on my salad. Oh, you fuck nugget. You fuck nugget. No! No! No, I'm all confused! No! Stop! Thank you. I don't have time for your shot. Ooh. I can see you, see you excited. What the hell is going on this time now? Whooper! Ew, I found a sticky ball. Why is it sticky? Oh, an ancient eye? I'm definitely taking that.
I don't know what that is. What is, is that an item that I can sell for money? Ah, it blocks enemies. Whooper is adorable. No, I don't need that. Thank you, though. Moving on. Let's go. I just need Linear to hurry up and turn level 18 so that... Oh, no! And I saw it in everything. No, knock it off. No! I'm gonna fucking kill this white dragon floor! Wow, this is the fastest little wake up. Good job, Linear. Ooh, bitch, I picked up a fireball. I picked up a fireball. I'm gonna throw that at bitches. Burn them on fire. E eat some fucking crispy dragonfly for dinner. This is so long, are you kidding me? Eileen, don't even want to deal with this spider. Ew, no, fuck off. Ow, oh, uh, damn it. No, fuck you. <laughs> Stupid bug. You're weak to lightning. Patch him up, Linear. Thanks, bitch. I, like, need to leave so I can save it. We're, like, I'm already 20 minutes past what I was supposed to be streaming tonight. <laughs> Electrocute them all. I surprised all but two of them. I'll take that. Did you see that? That was fucking rude. He like hit me. Like, bitch, I'm gonna fuck him up.
Yes! I've made it to the next floor. Come on! I'm strolling, and I'm walking, and I'm strolling, and I'm walking, and I'm strolling, and I'm walking. I don't know what that is, and I don't want it. Oh, I know what that is, and I'll take that. Heals me at like 500. So what the hell is wrong? What the hell is wrong? What the hell is going on this time? Ooh, I need that! Fuck yes! Okay.
Oh no, I forgot to pause my fucking video. I'm so sorry for those of you watching this on YouTube. You just had to wait for me to come back. It was so rude. I'm so sorry, guys. The Twitch viewers, you're fine. You knew I was leaving. No clue what just happened. Oh my god, I severely burned my finger. Nice. I'm about to like max out his punch side frame here soon before he like. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh my God, this is too much. I need to get out of here and save my game. Like, I need to wrap this up.
come on. I love you and me. Dancing in the moonlight. Everything you can see. It's just you and me. Do I? Look at you and look at me. I have no clue what a Makana Makana ampule is. Sounds like a piece of equipment of some kind. I had to get out of there. There was literally too many bad guys. I'm sorry. That was crazy. I need to get out of here. I am hurting. And bitch, there ain't no money up in here. There ain't no love for your fucking explorer here. And why was this part of the map shown? It doesn't uh, normally do that. Be careful with who we fight right now because I am not doing well right now. A broken helmet. Let's go. Nice! A new frying pan! She fucking needed it. Let's save it for sure. No. Uh, okay. Item. Let's try this. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, he's annoying. 
I don't like this level. If I had remembered that, I would not have picked this one. Shit. Try something. I think fire is their weakness. I'm gonna try lightning too. Because lightning might be their weakness too. I don't know. That didn't do bad, 279. Magna Combo, this is a good move. Damn, yes! Okay, now that was fucking noise. Get it, girl. Yes! It was a ton of damage. Oh my god. Okay. No! No! That is not what I needed you to do! Yeah, he's gonna- that's- no, I'm fucking annoyed. I did not click attack. I don't know what the fuck that was, but I did not click anything. I don't know why it registered that I hit attack. But that is not what I did with Mag. I literally... No. No. That is not... No. No. That's not what happened. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. That's fucking trash. That is literally not what happened. I literally s scrolled down and went to go... No. No. I don't give a fuck. That is not what the fuck happened. Something glitched. I don't... I'm good. That was fucking bullshit.
Nice. He's got to be low. We've done a lot of damage to him. He's got to be close to death. Yeah, I really forgot how fucking annoying this fight was. See? And that right there, that wasn't fair. I didn't get a chance to move him. Like, what the fuck? Why did you get- No, see? Some of these old games be fucking tripping balls, okay? There's no goddamn excuse for that. Him getting to go again. No, fuck that. Fuck that. You're a fucking dick. I'm seriously over this. Oh my god, knock it off! How am I supposed to get anything done with this bullshit? Are you fucking with me right now? Like, this is bull crap! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Yo, I I'm, Dude, this is fucking irritating. I came fully prepared, so there's no excuse for this. I literally came fully prepared. It should not be- no. 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 Should not be struggling like this at all. Absolutely not. This is fucking stupid. I don't know what's going on, but I should not be struggling like this. Not even a little bit. Wow, and then he gets to go again? Are you? Yeah. Yo, this is pissing me off. Like, hard. I just moved! Are you kidding me? Fuck off, you fucking flower ass little bitch! Oh my god, knock it off! I swear to fucking god, he did! Again? Oh ho ho! My fucking god! Yeah, I'm over this. Just fucking end it already. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I am so goddamn done. It is not even remotely funny how done Barry is right now, but I am fucking done. I don't want to play this anymore. I'm wrapping it up for the night. I was trying to already, but I am absolutely over this right now. Absolutely over this. Fucking dumb. I did so much damage. Great. Oh, it's over. Awesome. What a waste of my fucking night. Yup, just spit me out already, come fucking cunt. I'm so done. Fantastic, everyone have a great night.